Hello everyone. In this session, we'll discuss about the incremental load concept. Here, my source is Azure SQL and destination is Blob Storage. My Azure SQL having the multiple tables. Okay, so I have multiple tables. I want to move these multiple tables from Azure SQL to the Blob Storage. So here, I'm going to cover the multiple scenarios. Like the first scenario is how to copy the multiple tables from Azure SQL to Blob Storage incremental load. And how to maintain the last process to value for each table. So in Azure Data Factory side, I'm going to create one pipeline, that pipeline having the n number of activities. So here I'm going to add the multiple activities like lookup activity for each copy store procedure activity. Okay. So this is my architecture. So this is my design. So here I'm going to take the lookup activity. That lookup activity is going to refer the metadata uh, table from the uh, source system like Azure SQL. That metadata table having the four columns like table name, delta column, and last processed value and sync. Uh, in the first column, table name part, I have four uh, tables, like three or four tables. Second column, delta column. In the delta column part, um, so I just uh, specify the, for each and every table, I have the date column. The date column uh, reference, I'm going to specify under the delta column. Last processed value. Third column is last processed value. Here, I'm going to maintain the default last processed value while moving the data from source to destination. In the sync part, my blob storage, I want to create a separate container for each, each and every uh, table. Okay, this lookup activity is going to produce the output. That output is going to help to the coming activities as an input. Next, I have the for each activity. This for each is going to iterate the multiple tables moving from Azure SQL to the blob storage. Okay, so inside for each, I am going to take the lookup activity. This lookup activity is going to get the maximum value from the each and every table it means here this we are going to refer the uh, metadata table right that metadata table having the column means delta column here we are trying to uh, write one query select space maximum delta column means i am going to get the maximum value from the delta column with respect to each and every table okay from the every table right this lookup activity is going to give the maximum value for the each and every table next copy activity uh, here i am trying to write the dynamic expression to copy the data from Azure SQL to the blob storage. Here I'm going to write the one query that is select star from table name where delta column greater than last processed value. Here I'm trying to copy the data from Azure SQL to destination that is blob storage. If there is any last processed value greater than uh, my delta column into the metadata table, those uh, details I'm trying to copy the from source system to destination. Here I'm going to maintain the store procedure to update the um, uh, with uh, each and every tables information. Okay, this is my design. So here uh, I have the scripts like uh, I, I have three tables. I'm trying to insert the data for it with respect to each and every table. And also one more table that is metadata table. In this metadata table, I'm trying to refer the all the table information like uh, this metadata table having the schema name that is DVO by default schema name and a table name, employee, account, orders tables have. And also have the delta column. I just specify the delta column name and the last processed value. I, I just specify the default to last processed value. Okay, into the metadata table. Once my pipeline is going to success mode, right? I can able to see the updated the last processed value in this metadata table. And here I'm trying to maintain the one container. It means once the data are copied from source to destination, so I can able to see the um, respect to containers under the blob storage, like employee container, or customer container, orders data, orders container, like the way we can able to maintain under the blob storage. Okay, fine. So this is my SP store procedure. This store procedure having the update uh, statement means I'm going to update the each and every respect to table. I'm trying to capture the last process value. Okay, right. This is this is my pipeline. This is a lookup activity. Under settings part, here I'm, I just write one query, select star from metadata. Okay, right. So that uh, I can able to get the all the metadata information from the source system. This output uh, just, uh, we can pass it to the next activities as input. Here the for each activity. This for each activity is going to iterate the multiple tables from the Azure SQL. Okay, next inside for each, I'm going to maintain the multiple activities. The first one is the lookup activity. Here I'm write one dynamic expression. Okay, select maximum. So item dot delta column means uh, delta column which is present under the metadata table, right? Item means here we are performing through the 
uh, for each for each is always going to talk with the items only okay item dot delta column alias name maximum value from the schema name dot table name the uh, this is my dynamic query i just specify this dynamic query under the um, query part this section okay make sure try to check the first row only option okay next uh, i'm going to take the copy activity here we have the source and see in source part also here i'm trying to write the dynamic expression select star from item dot schema name still we are in uh, for each activity right inside for each means here we are ne we need to specify the item only for each always is going to talk about the item select star from item dot schema name dbo item dot table name like customer table employee table sales table transaction table where where delta column means every table having the delta column guys every table having the delta column it is going to take the greater than value here i just specify the greater than last process value okay let me go to the table see customer uh, just i just select the one table execute each and every table having the date column okay let me open another table see every table having the delta column let me open the metadata table this metadata table having the all the delta column it having the delta column with respect to each and every table it, ha it having by default the last processed value okay right fine in the sync part i just specify the my container name so all those things are uh, I here I am just to create one data set parameter because here we are trying to move the multiple tables right so that uh, for this reason I just create the parameter name parameter the data set parameter those information I just passed here and also I just take the store processor activity this store processor activity having the two parameters last processor value and table name I just to specify the maximum value I am going to get the maximum value from the lookup activity first two as maximum value and la table name okay so this is my design so once if i run this pipeline right click on debug my pipeline goes to running mode so once the data is success right so we can able to move the all the all the tables having the data right okay let me run this order table here we have the three records employee tables having um, something five records okay order table having the three records okay all these table information we are trying to copy the from our Azure SQL to the blob storage. Okay, right, all are in uh, success mode. So here we have refresh. Okay, all are goes to success. Let me go to the right the container. Okay, one well, that is. storage account so on click on storage account let me open the containers right we can able to see the each and every table here we are going to make the separate container right so the data will be successfully copied from source to destination you can uh, check the last modified timestamp here okay 925 now okay So let me this one. This is the one. Click on this. Edit. We can able to see the data because the data will it will be partitioning. No worries. Uh, right. Now let me do one thing. So here uh, in the order table, I have. Uh, let me execute it. Here I have the three records. Okay. So this, uh, what is the last process value means maximum value. This is the maximum value, right? 2022, 12, 21. This is the maximum value from the order table. Let me execute the metadata table. Okay, right. This is the la uh, last processed value from the metadata table. Here I'm trying to insert the one new record from the orders table. That record name is TV. I just specify the timestamp details here. Let me give the... Um, this is my time step uh, hours minutes seconds i just added here added here click on execute let me go and check the order tables 
See, the order tables, the maximum value is 2022, 23, 12, 21, 12, 12 hours, minute, second, right? If you go and check the metadata table, right? See, order table. But last process value, still we can able to see the hour, minute, seconds, uh, 10 only. But in order tables, hours, minute, seconds is 12. Okay. So let me rerun the pipeline one more time so that uh, we can able to get the latest two data from the Azure SQL to the blob store. That is, that is the incremental loading process. Okay. Now still pipeline. Okay. This goes to uh, not. Click on refresh. Let's wait for uh, some time. Right, almost finished. Okay, let me go to the um, metadata table. So earlier, hours, minutes, seconds is 10, 10 only, right? Now see, so this, now hours, minutes, seconds, 12, 12, 12, 12. Okay, so we just do the incremental loading process. So this is the flow for momenting the uh, multiple tables from Azure SQL to the block storage. Thank you.